As you've probably heard, World Cup fever is taking everyone by storm, even right here in Houston. But you know what, I'm like a lot of folks who know very little about soccer. So we figured we'd learn a little more from Jared Watts, who's a member of the Houston Dynamo. Hello, sir. Hey, how are you? And welcome to the Dynamo. Thank you, appreciate You're it. You're a pretty new find for us. I am relatively new this year, first year, so. Okay, so many Americans do not know enough about soccer. So give me a quick, brief, summation of soccer. Okay. Oh. The entire sport. 30 there we seconds. go. That's a, a quick history lesson. So, <laughs> yeah. nah, you know, soccer is a special sport. Um, it's growing in popularity in the U.S., um, which is exciting to see. Unfortunately, the U.S. isn't in the World Cup, so that's a uh, bit of a bummer, but still, it goes on. Um, for the average American, I think it's something that's new and they're, they're still learning to appreciate, but still, you can see the excitement around the U.S., even within the, uh, the MLS. And, and uh, just the excitement around the World Cup. So when you're playing soccer, there's also some fancy footwork. What can you show me? I can show you a little bit of something. Uh, I'm not too tricky, but I'll see what I can do. <laughs> there we go. Are you getting up early and watching the games? Are you staying up late? Are you getting all involved in it? Yeah, you know, it's pretty nice to be able to catch the three games uh, during the day. I, I, don't, I don't think I missed a game, actually. So, the, you know, the <laughs> early games are a little bit tougher to get, but 7 a.m. kickoff, I don't mind it. So I'll get up and watch a full day of soccer. Okay, before I let you go and get back to being a great soccer player, yep. who are you rooting for in the World Cup this year? Yeah, obviously U.S. not being it is a bit, is a bit sad. Um, but my, my two teams that I'm really hoping do well are England um, and then Iceland, which is a kind of a smaller, uh, under-the-radar, underdog story. So I, uh, I'm rooting for those two teams. So does England have a chance? Uh, they won their first game, so it's looking so good. Uh, That's a, so, great, yeah, a great place it, to start. Exactly. So we'll see. It's early on, but I think they'll do well. Well, thank you very much, and go kick that ball. Absolutely. Thanks for having me. Thanks.